Andy Johnson, Minnesota State University, looking at interventions for reading comprehension. Now, any intervention, whether it's an IEP or simply a remedial reading intervention, should be designed based on the data. We should know the strengths and deficit areas. Now, standardized assessments are just fine, as long as you use some form of a direct assessment, an informal reading inventory, diagnostic reading assessment, or some sort of miscue analysis. Now, there are three deficit areas in reading, word identification, fluency, comprehension. This focuses just on comprehension. Now, with traditional reading interventions, the focus was mostly on word identification, and word identification strategies focused mostly on phonics. You ended up with a lot of lower level reading subskills. Students, therefore, were exposed to less vocabulary, less conceptual knowledge, less high level thinking, and a lot less fun and enjoyment. A comprehensive reading intervention targets one or all of the specific deficit areas. Word identification, fluency, and or comprehension. And at the same time, it attends to all 10 essential elements, and you can see the 10 essential elements right there. Now, the focus here on this intervention is just on comprehension, not word identification or fluency. Not that these are not important, but there are other places and ways to focus on these. We are assuming that the student has been identified as having a deficit area in comprehension, so this intervention focuses only on comprehension. Keep it simple, 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 and focused. The goal should always be related to comprehension. Strategies, benchmarks, and measurements all related to comprehension. That is our focus. Remember, on an intervention plan of any kind, we want to create separate goals for each of these depending on the data. Word identification, fluency, and or comprehension. How to do it? Step one, start with a general comprehension score or level. You should know the general reading grade level, percentage correct or accuracy at that reading grade level, and or whether it's independent instructional or frustration level. This enables comparison from year to year. Simply giving percentile rankings does not do this. And here are two examples here. At the second grade reading level, Pat is comprehending at the instructional level. Or better yet, Pat comprehends with 95% accuracy at reading level two. That is actually the best one. Step two, you want to set appropriate or attainable goals and benchmarks that can be reached that are proximal. Now, here's an example of reading goals for comprehension. This could be found on an IEP or simply an intervention plan. Pat will achieve 90% accuracy on story retelling rubrics, reading level two. Very simple, very focused. We know exactly what we need to get to. The benchmarks are the baby steps to get there. 70% reading level 1, 90 reading level 1, 70 reading level 2. And here is one way that progress could be measured. A simplified story retelling rubric. There are other ways, but here is an example of a story retelling chart or rubric. Keep it simple, keep it simple. Or a maze could be another form of uh, comprehension assessment. These are just two examples. Here are some examples of intervention strategies to develop reading comprehension. Know that comprehension worksheets do very little to improve students' ability to create meaning with print. Comprehension involves thinking. These are all cognitive processes or thinking processes used by effective readers. And you can stop and look through this if you wish. To improve comprehension, we teach cognitive processes. We teach these cognitive processes that effective readers use to create meaning with print. We teach the process to develop the skill. And all the comprehension activities are based on these cognitive processes. Here is one example. Predicting is a cognitive process. Effective readers do it naturally. Now, prediction is not a guess. Rather, it's a guess based on clues. I like to use graphic organizers like the predictogram. What do you think will happen when? List the clues and then your prediction. 
as a pre-reading activity, preview and then make predictions using the predictograph. During reading, make the prediction up front, have students record clues as they encounter them, or as a post-reading activity, what do you think will happen next? Go back and find the clues, all right? For expository text, we teach study skill strategies for comprehension. We do these specific things to enable us to create meaning with print. Not complicated. You can stop. These are just some. These are very simple study still strategies for comprehension. Remember, keep it simple. Use explicit instruction with lots of practice. Change in thinking, which comprehension is, occurs over time. You need to address expository text and narrative text differently. And there are many strategies and activities for comprehension. This was just a sample.